I get to my car and my car won't start. So I texted him and he said he could come pick me up. A few moments later, he went to the bathroom and never came back. Probably because she was a fucking annoyance. I don't usually let men take me out on my first date of 2024, but uh, for some reason he left. Now I'm going to tell all of TikTok about it. <laughs> What's up, guys? John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. In today's video, we're going to be reacting to Abba and Preach reacting to she got ditched at dinner with his bill. Okay, this should be hilarious. I'm going on a date tonight from very first date of 2024. Oh my God. Um, And I was supposed to meet him at the restaurant <laughs> a minute ago. It's so weird how these girls make these TikToks with their little fucking dating updates. I get to my car and my car won't start. So I texted him and he said he could come pick me up. And usually I don't let men pick me up, but I'm going to need somebody to help jump my, jump, jump my car. So. Yes, he literally left me here. <laughs> oh no, she's gonna have to pay for her own salad. He went to the bathroom and never came back. Probably because she was a fucking annoyance. You can just tell from that clip. I don't usually let men take me out on my first date of 2024, but uh, for some reason he left. Now I'm gonna tell all of TikTok about it. <laughs> As you just saw, man's left me. Before, during, and after updates. Great. He drove me, picked me all the way up. He drove me all the way to the bar and then he... He ordered a drink and he drank the whole drink and then he went to the bathroom and never came back. Maybe it's because he was catfished. <laughs> I, not much to say. Oh, so she had to pay for one drink of his. <laughs> Got ditched with his bill. Had to pay for that one drink he drank. Wow. Only did he order a drink, drink the whole drink, and then leave and not pay for the drink. He also left me stranded. He left me knowing damn well that I was stranded because my car hadn't started, so he picked me up, right? <laughs> Preach is laughing. Oh, look at her. She's making a huge deal out of having to pay for one drink. Meanwhile, fucking chicks get dudes to buy them drinks constantly in nightclubs. Imagine the guy came on. I was going to buy this girl a drink at the bar, and she said, hey, could you get one for my three friends too? And I said, uh, I guess so, because I'm on the spot here and under pressure. And then they all just bounced. And now I'm telling the world about it on TikTok. Everybody feels sorry for me. He knew that I was stranded. What? What a piece of shit. <laughs> Let's keep watching. Let's keep watching, bro. Don't let me. And I, I've been blocked from everything already. Could be a catfish. Could be because her personality blows. Probably both. That was my very first date of 2024. And that will be the last. Um... <laughs> Yeah. Also, can we talk about- That'll be the last. Look how annoying she is. Also, can we talk about something else? <laughs> Before we get on with this lovely reaction, we have our products 50% off right now, Occam's Razor and Leads Machine. The links are in the description, or you can get $1,000 off the eight-week program or $1,000 off of a live bootcamp. Okay, the sale ends at the end of the day on Friday. So check out those links in the description. Oh, he's a therapist? <laughs> he's a therapist, so ladies. <laughs> now she's gonna give advice for ladies <laughs> probably like i've seen your type before annoying as fuck and a little bit fucking batshit crazy i'm getting the fuck out of here watch the fuck out <laughs> i don't even know what's wrong with that i think him being a therapist makes perfect sense create trauma create demand <laughs> and then provide get, supply get the money you thought he was bailing on your date no what this guy's trying to do is get another customer <laughs> Oh, hello. How we meet again. Sit down. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, let's talk about what I did to you and how it makes you feel. I saw I got a girl that got stood up. The I'm the guy. That's me. <laughs> Into his coworkers. <laughs> That's me. Oh, thank you, buddy. I five. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been struck by a fuckboy? Come to my service. Here I... <laughs> Get his shirt here. Two fucking horses. Little orange bars over their eyes. Dr. Rossman, we'll make sure we take good care of you. And then in the back, he has a bunch of fuckboys in the face to go fuck everybody. <laughs> Yo, what if, what if the most wild thing, he's like, okay, tell me what you see when you look at this image. <laughs> and it's just a picture of him. <laughs> and he just keeps switching pictures of him. Now what do you see? <laughs> me? And <laughs> you? And, and, then, and then now? Still you. The man who hurt me! Yes, yes, good, yes. good. Yo, shout out to you, my girl. It's the. And what's she talking about? Watch out, ladies. Watch out for what? 
People have to take accountability, right? I have a shit ton of clients over the past 10 years that end up in situations like this where they're considering leaving because the girl's annoying or maybe the girl ditches them because they were like letting the conversation fall flat or being too awkward or too weird. Nobody's obligated to sit there with you. And it's not like he, he ordered a whole bunch of food and ate a whole meal and then fucking stuck her with the bill. One drink is not a big deal. Okay. And he fucking gave her a ride. So there's like tons of details and context missing. Maybe she was bitchy. Maybe she was annoying. You know, she didn't look the prettiest. Okay, maybe her pictures were overly edited and he's like, uh, no, thank you. And just from her general attitude, you know, maybe she wasn't too desirable to, to be around this. Hey, ladies, just so you know, you need to watch out. And he was a therapist. So. Yeah, it's like, OK, so this went viral. Everyone yeah. wants to talk about it. But then it went a step further. Drum roll, please. So this is the only photo I could find because he was actually already posted on the are we dating the same guy? Now she's gonna fucking publicly show his appearance just because he left her there and not paid for wonder. Like think about how petty this is. Think about how fucking retarded this is. Imagine a guy doing this. Hey, uh, a girl showed up on a date. She had one drink and she left. And uh, so now I'm gonna make a whole bunch of TikToks about it and I'm gonna reveal her face. And this is Ray. This is Ray. Ray, 37. There's so much more to say. Um, he's not actually 37. There's so much more to Ray. His name's not actually Ray. Anyway, I'll be back. Oh, you got the crunchy stuff. You sure got is. you got the crunchy. I found this one by accident. Jesus. Accident. Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's that. There, 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 if you guys aren't aware, there's these Facebook groups or groups online called Are We Dating the Same Guy? <laughs> it's pretty funny since I run up big numbers, right? One girl I banged in Brazil, she's like, I showed a picture of you to my friends and uh, you fucked three of my friends. And she's like, they told me to like not get too attached because blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, oh, they're just jealous. And she's stayed on rotation for like five months. Okay, past that and everything's still fine. I had a different girl where <laughs> she's like, hey, I showed my coworker a picture of you and apparently you banged her like two weeks ago. And I'm like, oh, and she told me this when she like showed up at my house. And I'm like, oh, well, I think it was only once. I didn't see her again. And she's like, yeah, she said you're really good in bed. <laughs> I'm like, let's go. <laughs> yeah, boy. For whatever city I get. Feel how you feel. Wanna, wanna feel but there was like, when I was in Poland, there was like a Facebook group, like, oh, watch out for this pickup artist, blah, 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 blah. A lot of women will just post a dude they had a bad date with and then everybody else will just, oh, he's an asshole. But sometimes there's dudes out there who are serial con artists. And then there's like 20 women who are in that group. be like, wait, I went on a date with him and he tried to, f oh, wait, I dated him for seven weeks and his name is actually, and he has two kids. And it gets crazy. With that being said, thoughts? That's a con artist. Hold up, I'm going to the bathroom. I'm never coming back. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that big of a deal to lie a little bit about your age. Okay, everybody's fucking, you know, twisting things a little bit. Guys are saying they're taller than they are. Girls are using extreme filters. Okay, there, there's girls that are like not smiling with their teeth and they have braces or fucked up teeth. All kinds of shit's happening with online. That's why you always ask for more pictures. I don't see it as that big of a deal that the guy doesn't want to use his real name. Okay, look, she's fucking posting him on the internet for everybody to see because he left her with one drink. Imagine he had his real name up. Okay, then he would have more problems. Again, people are so fucking weird. <laughs> Sorry. No, no, it's fine. The timing was good. It's good timing. I was like, what the fuck is he doing? <laughs> what? All right, cool. All right. This is what I would say. <laughs> I I, I, I I just couldn't imagine ever doing that. I've had, I've been on dates that were super meh. Been on boring as dates. The idea of leaving someone after buying a drink and then leaving them with a the bill, having like, I would have at least just got her an Uber. I, I said, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't understand why. The only way I could ever see myself doing something even remotely similar was if I was being catfished. But if I'm being catfished, I'm nibbing that shit in the butt right off the top. I'm going to pick her up. I'm like, is that you, Cindy? And I would have just drove off. See, I think that's probably what happened. This dude probably was like, eh, because the chick isn't that cute. And there's like some little bit of extra weight, okay, that she was probably hiding in the pictures. And then he picks her up, sees it, it's too late, she's in the car, he drives her there. She's probably like, oh yeah, let's go. Like, okay, we're here, I'm gonna order a salad, what do you want? Uh, right, and the guy's like put on the spot and he's like, I'll have a Jack and Coke, right? Comes, he's like, oh, this is, yeah, so, uh, yeah, I'm not actually Ray and uh, yeah, I'm not 37 either. Oh my God, what the fuck? That's so, re that's so creepy, what the fuck? Blah, blah, blah. He's probably like, all right, I'm getting the fuck out of here. And then the chick like does like a thousand X, like re-raise, <laughs> puts the whole fucking thing on TikTok and then puts the guy on blast with his face, which is like harassment too. Right then and there, I would not entertain a conversation, that's fine. 
driving her to the location, grabbing a drink, having her order some food and then disappear. That's super weird and off to me. I don't think there's a real justification anyone could give me unless something was said on that date that was completely insane. Yeah, all the context is missing. We don't know what she said. We don't know how her pictures look. We don't know how she was acting. It could have been completely justified and warranted. Everyone's just like, oh my God, that's so, that's so out of control. He made her pay for one drink. Guys buy a girl's drinks all the fucking time at nightclubs and usually pay for the drinks on dates. Is it that big of a deal that she has to pay for one guy's drink? What was it? Probably like 10 bucks. Oh my God. Let's go cry on the internet. It's off. It's super off. Yeah. I wasn't raised like that. I don't know. I don't even know how you savages are, and what 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 what's the point of doing that and everything and stuff. Assuming you, I I don't know, man. I I don't know. How do you feel good at not like? I I just feel good going back to your place and then feeling like, yeah, no, nah, I'm a good person. I'm, I'm I'm I did great today. I just that's f- up. Mm. The guy was probably thinking like, okay, I'm gonna have to sit here and deal with this chick that's annoying as fuck and or looks like shit that I, I wasn't expecting. And she's gonna need a ride back and all this stuff. It just complicates. He's gonna he would have to sit there and wait for her to eat and then he'd have to drive her back and you know deal with all this shit. And so he probably just made a fucking judgment call. I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. And he didn't wanna deal with her making a scene because she didn't <laughs> she didn't have a ride back that's why we have uber again not that big of a deal at all and missing all the context take advantage of the sale that we have it will be over soon you can get a thousand dollars off the eight-week program which is currently the best program in the industry in terms of results by a landslide you can get a thousand off any three-day boot camp that's live anywhere around the world or you can get 50 percent off my two cheapest products, Occam's Razor and Leads Machine. Okay, normally they're 700 bucks. You can get them for only 350. All those links are in the description and pinned comment. Sale ends at the end of the day on Friday. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments. Watch the video on the end screen. Thank you guys so much. And I will see you on a video soon. Take care. And Jay don't stand in line. I ain't never had to wait. I'm the realest in this game. I ain't never had to fake. Just take a look at the scores. I put numbers up on the boards. I'm in a section with models. And you're at the bar trying to get out of cluster of fours. Fixed drama factor, I'm a boss tycoon My dick smell like two chicks before noon